NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. They love the black and gold here in the Steel City. And a few moments ago, their Steelers emerged from the Heinz Field Tunnel. They're set. We're set as the Steelers are ready to do battle with Andy Dalton and the Cincinnati Bengals. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. This will complete right side to McDonald. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Burger to throw on second down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Carlos Dunlap in there to drop him for a loss on the play. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. They'll come up on a third and four here to start things out. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he takes this down deep into Cincinnati territory. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. zone now. Here's Roethlisberger on first down. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. The 40, 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. And he's got it to make it 7-0 Bengals. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, Fitzgerald to Sun. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last, that didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Adam Jones. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff. Didn't yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster, complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we have reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Bengals out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? On the return, it's Alex Erickson. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second and seven. They'll go option to the short side. And now he'll tuck it and run. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back.
So here we go, first and ten now. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. Second down, Dalton. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. And Eifert has it. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. A big pickup there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. The Bengals go down to a knee in the victory formation. Dalton down to a knee, and that'll be all she wrote. And this looks to probably be the final play. Coming to you, coming to you. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Are you I, one of those guys I'm a little skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust skeptical. it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not.